Right over here, anyway. All right, hey guys, it's uh, Nihal here, the coach of the Toledo Mudkips, and I'm going to be doing some post-com for my match against the Nuremberg Nido Kings. So let's get started. I'm going to try, I'm going to try it on slow. Whoa! We don't want the music on. All right, so he leads with his Roserade, and in this situation, I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, I, I go for go for the Psy Shock. Oh, wait, no, no, I go for Stealth Rocks, excuse me. Um... And, you know, I really want to get him up on his team. I brought Stealth Rocks on my Mesprit uh, specifically for the flying types he has. I, and I go into Weezing because, you know, I think this, this thing is going to be a physical attacker. And I see the curse, and I'm like, okay, this is definitely going to be a physical attacker. Um, and so, I mean, uh, when I see him go for the curse, I immediately go for a Will-O-Wisp. I miss, of course, um, and I'm just going to go for another Will-O-Wisp after this. Uh, he goes for the Ancient Power, though. He doesn't get the boost. Um, I go for the Will-O-Wisp again, even though I know he's a special attacker now, just because I want to get some residual damage off. He gets he goes for the Ancient Power again, does get the boost, and then I am going to go for the Clear Smog on this next turn. This is exactly why I brought the Clear Smog, uh, specifically for this thing, or if the or for the Feraligator, if he were to bring him. He has a couple of set-up mons. So I thought the clear smog would be necessary. I also brought Dragon Tail on my um, on my what's its face, my Lodic. So um, oh yeah, by the way, my team was Weezing, my Lodic, Mesprit, Darmanitan, Granbull, and uh, Jolteon. All right, so I, I decided you know I'll switch out because my my Lodic is more especially defensive, can definitely deal with this thing, and I can hit it with the Skull. They should have probably switched out earlier, um, and I have leftovers on this thing. Uh, my Mesprit was actually had a Citrus Berry on it, which will pop later. I have Black Sludge on the uh, Weezing. Uh, Darmanitan was Choice Scarfed. My Granbull was Assault Vested. And my Jolteon was uh, Choice Specs. Alright, so two Skulls take him out. He goes to the Rapid Spin, which was a bit of a bummer. Um, he, he comes in here. I almost go for Ice Beam, um, but I just didn't want to take the risk. So I switch out into Mesprit. And then I go for the Super Effective Size Shock as he puts another set of Toxic Spikes up, and I'm okay with Toxic Spikes. Uh, one, because I have this uh, the Marvel Scale on the Milotic, which boosts its defense by 1.5 if, it's, if it's status, and I also have Quick Feet um, instead of Volt Absorb on my Jolteon, because, um, well, basically because he didn't have any electric types, so Volt Absorb was useless. He goes on his Mega Sableye here. This is exactly why I packed the Dazzling Gleam on this Mesprit, just for this Mega Sableye. I also had uh, Energy Ball on it, too. Um, and Psy Shock and Stealth Rock. Alright, so we can see that Dazzling Gleam forces his um, thing to fade. I do have some investment in HP, well, full investment in HP and some investment in Special Defense, uh, which allows me to take that Shadow Ball really well. Um, so uh, I was able to take out his Dazzling Gleam in two hits. Goes into his Braviary here. Uh, I go for the Psy Shock, he goes for the U-turn, my Citrus Berry pops. Um, and I'll be able to side shock whatever comes in, and he is going to sack off his Roserade. Um, so yeah, that's pretty, pretty good. Um, and then I believe he he goes back out into Braviary, goes for another U-turn. I decided to stay in because I really, you know, I could have switched out of my Lodic, but I just I didn't know what it had, so it wasn't worth it. All right, so I see this thing. I bring out my Mr. Worldwide, my Pitbull slash uh, thing. Uh, Grand Bull, because uh, I wanted to go for the close combat, and I wanted to get the Intimidate boost off. You know, I really thought it would one-shot, it didn't, so I decided to switch out. I was trying to um, salvage a bit of differential, um, and then I switch out into my Lodic, because I know I can easily take an Iron Head, it's resisted, and I have the 1.5 defense boost now, uh, and he's, he's um, minus one attack. So, in this situation, uh, he's obviously going to probably switch out. Um, he does in the Braviary. Um, I think, in this situation, I thought about going for the Ice Beam again, but I decided just to go for the Scald in case he stayed in. I guess I should have gone for Ice Beam in retrospect because it's neutral and it would have taken it out. I don't know why I went for Scald. Maybe to get the burn. Um, but, you know, Brave Bird doesn't do too much. I'm able to take this thing out with an Ice Beam. Um, and I thought about recovering here again just for Differential, but, you know, I, I figured I was on a timer anyway, so... Um, he's going to go out to his Mamoswine again. Um, 
This is going to go into his Mammoth Swine and go for the EQ. I went for Recover on this turn just to see what he was doing. Um, I got a little bit of HP back, but the Toxic is taking its toll now, so I just decided to take this thing out with the Scald. I probably could have switched out into Weezing, uh, predicting the EQ, but I didn't think it was worth it. just wanted to get this over with. And, um, you know, there you see my Jolteon gets um, Poison, and I get the Quick Feet boost, uh, but, you know, it didn't really matter in this situation. I outsped, and the Choice Specs is easily able to take off or take out his Siglip. So a good battle for me. I think I prepared pretty well. And this team's actually pretty good. I won three, o three out of three OU matches when I took it to the ladder. Um, so uh, I'm very, very happy with the start. Um, I'm very happy to be up four. I guess not up 4 oh, but to have a four differential. Um, youthful, uh, the coach for the other team, put up a very good fight. Uh, and I hope I get to battle him again because, uh, you know, it, I think I just made some good plays in the end and it could have been a much closer battle. So, thanks for watching, guys.